Hello and welcome. I've got Stephanie Feltis joining us. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being here. So Stephanie is on our team. She's our agent concierge. And so Stephanie, I that term might be very interesting to a lot of people. Yes, yes. So tell us what you do for our team. So basically, I do everything I can to take things off of the agent's plate so they have time to be out with their clients on showings, appointments. Um, so I'm here at the office doing any kind of paperwork, writing up offers, sending emails, talking to clients, helping them through the process, mm -hmm. um, anything to make it easier for our agents. Yes, all the stuff that agents just hate doing, Yes, <laughs> you're doing for us, yes. which is awesome. That is what I'm here for. <laughs> the most valuable player, for okay. sure. So thank you for being here. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to ask you to join us today is because you have a very unique background for I what do. we're going to talk about today. I do. So you actually, in a former life, used yes. to be a real estate <laughs> photographer. Yes. And um, that's interesting to our topic today because we're going to be talking about how to prepare your house mm -hmm. for photos, right. for real estate photos. Mm -hmm. So that's actually how we met. It is. And um, you were a real estate photographer um, with a local company here. Yes. And um, you were out and about and I scheduled an appointment. We just happened to meet and then mm -hmm. I was like, wow, I really love her photos. And so <laughs> I just kept booking you and booking you and that's how we got to know each other. Yeah. That was six years ago. Yeah. 2017. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about your real estate photography journey. So I did real estate photography for about five and a half years. Um, I worked for the same company the whole time. Um, I actually got into it because my husband, he worked for that company and he still does. He still does real estate photography. Um, and I really enjoyed it, um, but I decided it was time to be on a different side of real estate. So here we are. Here we are. <laughs> so today we're gonna be talking about how to prepare your house for real estate photos. You know, you're yes. ready to list your property. Um, and you're, you're, you might be working ahead even. Mm -hmm. Like what can I do to prepare my house whenever it is time to list? And what can I do to be ready for those photos? Yes. So one thing that we wanna emphasize is the reason that real estate photos are so important is because it is your first showing. It's the reason that people schedule a showing at your house. It's the first impression. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so important, right? Right. So many people, pretty much the majority of people now, they are first looking at houses online. And so the pictures are the first thing you see. So you want to have professional photos, make sure they're nice so you can make that great first impression because you only get one shot at that. Absolutely. So let's start at the front door. Okay. The buyers pull up. Mm -hmm. This has happened to me so many times. Yes. The buyers pull up <laughs> and they a lot of times form an impression about your house before they even get out of the car. Yes. <laughs> so that curb appeal is so important. Absolutely. You want to make sure that your siding and your trim is in good shape. Your landscaping is looking really good and clean and fresh. Your lawn is mowed. Yes. So inevitably this happens. The car pulls up, buyers get out and the agents, you know, running up to the front door and ready to unlock the door because a lot of times you arrive at the same time. Yes. And very rarely does the agent get there ahead of time <laughs> um, to unlock the door. Um, and so the agent is fiddling with the key on the front door and the buyers are all, you know, everybody's crammed in there right near the front door and the buyers are looking at all the little details at the front porch. Yes, they are. <laughs> and sometimes it takes the agent a while to unlock the door. Yeah. And does. so the buyers have a lot of time to yeah. look at the details. <laughs> so we want to make sure that everything is looking good. The cobwebs are dusted. The front porch mat is fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a wreath on the front door, mm -hmm. pop a color flower. Think about seasonal flowers. You know, if you're into the fall or the spring, make sure that you've got a yes. nice Having color. fresh mulch and a pop of color with flowers, that always makes a really, makes really great curb appeal. Yes, so super important. Front door even is painted. Yes, painted or freshly stained if it's wood. Yes, mm -hmm. so hugely important. Yes. Uh, also would recommend power washing your sidewalks and your driveways. Absolutely. Especially in photos, there's nothing worse than a front driveway and all you just see is streaks. Yes, a big, from or a big oil stain or something. Yes, yes. so <laughs> that would be something to think about. Something as when you're living there, you're in and out of the driveway every single day and you don't even think about it. Right. But in a photo, that is the first impression. Yes. So, I mean, when was the last time you saw a photo of a house for sale online and the front wasn't the first picture? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times it is the first photo. Yes. Okay, so uh, now that we're inside the front of the house, one of the first things that hits me and I know a lot of the buyers is the smell of the house. Absolutely. Or in a good way, a lack of smell. Yes. So you wanna be able to walk into a house and the smell of it not hit you. Right. That's the goal. 
So um, you, what we would recommend um, is that you get somebody with an honest, it's gonna give you an honest opinion of how your house smells to, to tell you, especially if you have pets. You know, does my house smell like pets? What can I do? You could um, change your air filters regularly. Mm -hmm. uh, if not every, every quarter, maybe even once a month if you have more than one pet maybe even have your air ducts cleaned. Mm -hmm. Air fresheners and candles, there is a fine balance. Yes, a very fine line between just right and way too much, way too overpowered. Yes, and uh, last thing, a sometimes a buyer has said this to me too, we're walking through a house and they're hit with air freshener smell and they're like, what are they trying to hide? Like what, is, mm -hmm. what smell are they trying to overcome mm -hmm. here? Right. So there is a fine balance between that. And when I was a photographer, that is something that sellers would often ask me, do you, do you smell dog or cat or anything like mm -hmm. that? Because they're a good neutral person. If they've never been to your house, they're a good. Yeah, and you would tell them. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be completely honest. Yeah. There's no reason not to be. Absolutely. So um, obviously you can have the carpets cleaned, mm -hmm. those kind carpets of things or rugs. too. Mm -hmm. There is a product that uh, we would recommend called Odo Ban. You can get it on Amazon and it's just a little jar and you actually leave the jar yeah, unsealed. And you take the lid off. Yes. Yeah. And you leave that in the house or in a room um, where you might have a, a stronger odor than others, mm -hmm. other areas, and that can help eliminate some of the odor as well. So, okay, so we're making our way through the house. Yeah. So smell hits you first. Yes. So what? general cleanliness, just having the floors vacuumed or mopped, um, clutter put away, countertops in the kitchen and the bathrooms cleared off of anything miscellaneous, just an overall cleanliness and you want to make it open and inviting. Yes. Well, and there's a difference between having your house ready for photos and then having your house ready for showing. True, very true. So if you're in a rush and you're trying to get your house ready for photos, stuff everything in the closet. It doesn't yeah, matter. Doesn't We're matter. not going to take no, pictures of the closet. No, we don't take photos of that or the laundry room or the garage. Stuff it where you need to for yes, photos. <laughs> exactly. Now for showings, that's a different story. You yes. don't want to open a closet and door. And everything or, fall or, out. <laughs> exactly. So make sure that those are two different things. But for photos, our purpose of our conversation today, we want to yes. make sure it's decluttered, everything's mm -hmm. off the floor, organized. Um, to, uh, general, your general rule of thumb with anything in a photo smaller than six inches just really doesn't translate very Correct. well. Yes. So we want to make sure that those smaller items like on bookshelves or a mantle are removed mm -hmm. and leave the bigger items. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about the flow of the room. Okay. So when you walk into a room, you don't want to just automatically walk into the back of the couch or a chair. You want it to be open and, and inviting. And that makes it easier for the photographer to take nice photos and really show the room off well. I would encourage you if you're, uh, obviously you want to work with a professional, somebody that's done this before, um, get a staging consultation, mm -hmm. work with a real estate professional. Um, but if you want to just do a first sweep, go through your house as if you were a buyer. Go through the flow of the room, mm -hmm. go down the hallways, turn into a bedroom. You know, you don't want to open a bedroom and then hit a piece of furniture with the right. back of the door or walk into the side of a bed. You want to make sure it's a big open space whenever you walk into a room. Mm -hmm. Another important thing is light bulbs. Yes. Something while you're living there you might not think of. So turn on all the lights in your house, make sure all the light bulbs are working, and you want to make sure they're all the same tone or temperature, which mm -hmm. we recommend bright white. Makes a big difference. It does make a big difference. It really does. Yeah. So um, that daylight, which is the even brighter one, can sometimes be like a hospital stark It can be white. too too harsh, yes. Yeah, so that, harsh. the bright white is a good, good medium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely go around and check um, every bathroom, every chandelier, mm -hmm. every, every, every light bulb. Every light bulb in your house. Yes. Okay, um, you mentioned clearing off countertops in the kitchen and bathrooms. We wanna make sure these are like some miscellaneous items. Make sure all the toilet seats are down. Yes. Make sure your magnets and any photos are off of your fridge. Mm -hmm. um, you wanna clean off your mirrors and your windows. Yes. Because we want those drapes open. Yes, you want all that natural tilted. light coming in too. Yes, we have blinds behind us. You don't want them like this. You want them mm -hmm. tilted open just a little bit to yes. let that natural light About in. About a 45 degree angle. Yep. You want all of your fans off. Yes, because in pictures, they just look like big helicopters. <laughs> you don't want that in photos. Yes. You want your TVs and computer monitors off. Yes. There's nothing worse than being like, what are they watching on TV? Oh, right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what are they looking at? <laughs> okay. Um, and then, oh, this is another one of my pet peeves. Whenever you get to a house and maybe there's an older vehicle in the driveway, either yes. the front or the back, doesn't matter if it's mm -hmm. an alley driveway, and the vehicle can't move and you're like, I need to take a picture of the driveway. I got to get it yes, out of the house. Yes, especially if you have a front or side facing um, because that definitely will be in photos. And the back may or may not, just depending, um, but definitely a front or side facing driveway yes. you want to have your cars removed for yes. sure. 
Okay. Um, and then let's talk about outdoors okay. first. Yes. So once you get into the backyard, we did the front curb appeal already, mm -hmm. but in the backyard, you want to make sure all the leaves are picked up. Children's toys are picked up. You talked about some sports equipment. Yeah. You know, if you have soccer goals or something like that, just go ahead and put those away for the photos. Mm -hmm. Pet droppings, of course, mm -hmm. for showings as well. You don't want to cause any issues with right. that. And then I've, I've, been showing houses for quite a while mm -hmm. and I've never once had a buyer tell me, oh, I wish this felt smaller back here. <laughs> never. <laughs> so we want to make sure that your patio is feeling spacious um, and your yard space too. Yes, so absolutely. you don't want it to feel cluttered with furniture or mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, and then one of the last things is you want to have a plan for pets and children, right? Yes. During the photo shoot, um, if you can't leave the house, that's fine. If you want to hang out in one of the secondary bedrooms while the photographer's doing the rest of the house and then switch places once they're ready for that bedroom, that's totally fine. Um, but it just makes it a little bit easier for the photographer if the pets and kids are kind of contained in one place. Do you want to talk about why using a professional photographer is so important like what makes the difference between professional photos versus something you can do on your cell phone so with professional photos what we do is we have a process called hdr and so we take usually three to five different exposures for each photo so there's a light a dark and kind of a medium in between and then we merge all of those together so that the final photo the final image it's the best of all worlds in one photo you can't really get that with the, just a cell phone or a digital camera so having the professionals who have that professional equipment is your best option for sure yeah and you want to like we talked about at the beginning of the video you want to present your house in the best light yes. possible yes because that People start their home search online. Mm -hmm. It is the reason people schedule a showing and they, they are intrigued by what they see online and they want to come see it in person. Right. And there, there are statistics that say um, listings that have professional photos typically sell anywhere from 30 to 35% faster than listings that don't have professional photos. Absolutely. So we have an entire photo ready checklist that's available to you. If you would like to receive our photo ready checklist, you can send us an email at hi at modernteam.com or you can drop a comment here below. We can get you that full photo ready checklist. And of course, if you work with us here at the Modern Team in the Dallas area, then you'd be working with Stephanie, a yes. real professional <laughs> photographer. She's coming out to your property to help you with any last minute items. You're also on our staging team. Yes. So you're helping with that as well. And uh, we look forward to working with you. Thank you for tuning in today. Thanks for joining right, us, Stephanie. Of course, thank you for having me. Perfect.